Hi, I'm Chris Kimball. Thanks for watching. Uh, for the last uh, seven or eight years, I've been teaching myself computer-generated imaging. And uh, as I got into C4D, one of the things that kind of creeps up to bite me every now and then is connecting end caps. So uh, last night I did a lot of tutorials. I, I really didn't learn a lot, and I just kept playing around until I found a way to do it. So here I take a cylinder, I'll make it editable, and let me, I'm not going to use any keyboard shortcuts so that you can see all of my mouse strokes. I am selecting the polygons of the top cap, and you see that they can be completely removed off of the parent object. So, I'm going to select the cylinder again, and I'm going to go up to the mesh, come down to conversion, over to polygon groups and objects. Now, if we go back to the uh, hierarchy, we can see that the cylinder has been, now it consists of, of truly three different pieces. Bottom cap, the middle, and the top. But they are still independent of each other. So now I'm going to go over and get a connect function. And I'm going to take these three pieces and put them into the connect. I'm going to hide this. And selecting the connect, I'm going to go down to attributes. And I'm going to take its tolerance up to one inch. This will make sure that all the faces of this object are as you can see in the options here, that they are welded. So now that we are connected, I'm going to make sure I'm selected on the connect, and I'm going to make it editable. And now the entire object has turned into one, and it is editable. So I will reselect these these top top polygons on the cap, and we'll see if they move off again. And there we have it. Now the cap is welded to the rest of the object. And this will now give me the chance to bevel the edges If there is an easier way, please show me. I just want to learn. I am not a teacher, but I sure want to help people get along a little farther than they are. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it helps you out. See you next time.